Well, hello and good day, toy fans, and welcome to Super Awesome Toys. My name is Panama Sartan, and today's review is of Mattel's Masters of the Universe Classics Modulock. Modulock comes packaged in this awesome looking box. You can see some of the configurations you can have them in. You have the Evil Horde logo as he's a member of that faction. Turning the box onto its side, we get the Masters of the Universe Classic logo and Modulock, Evil Beast of a Thousand Bodies. So nothing interesting on the bottom and on the top we get a picture of the figure and the same thing we got on the sides. So it's a really nice box, I really like it. And once you open the box you'll get Modulock in a plastic tray and you can see we get the base figure in the center and all the other pieces around him. So let's get him off his tray and see how awesome he is. So here we have Modulock out of the box and this is the base figure and he has the same articulation as all the other Masters of the Universe Classics figures, but I'll run them down for you. His head is on a ball joint and it can rotate and go side to side. It doesn't move up and down that far because of the way his neck works, but that's okay, I guess. His arms can go up and down, forwards and backwards, and he has swivels at the bicep. Nice hinge articulation at the elbows and wrist swivels. He also has a nap crunch like all the other masters. Swivel at the waist, nice ball jointed hips. Cut at the thighs, hinge joints at the knees, and rotation at the knees instead of uh, him having boot cuts. He also has hinged ankles and ankle rockers. His other pieces include two extra insect like legs with a nice exoskeleton sculpt. They have the same articulation, they bend at the knees and rotate, hinge ankles and ankle rockers. We also get this pair of beastly looking legs with the same articulation. They bend at the knees, the ankles have a hinge joint and the knee also rotates. And they also have tie cuts like the others. We also get two extra arms that go with the insect-like legs. They have the same articulation as the regular arms. We also get three of these pieces, which I'll show you what they're for in a moment. It also includes three tail pieces. This is a centerpiece where you can plug in an extra pair of legs and an extra tail piece. This is an end piece with no sockets. And this is an extra tail piece that has two sockets for extra legs. And of course, he also brings his extra head, which is very, very nice. It's on a ball joint and it has the same articulation as the other head. And last but not least, he brings two weapons which plug together to form one weapon. As you can see, it's made of a very gummy, very bendy material and it's the one thing I dislike about this whole figure. The thing I love about Modulock as a kid was how you could mix and match pieces. 
To do that with this new version, you just pop the joints out, which are on a ball joint, and you just plug it on the socket. It certainly has not fit, but it still retains all of the articulation. And you can plug any other piece in any other socket, since it uses a universal joint system. You can pop the head off at the base of the head or at the base of the neck and replace it with this connector piece. You can use it for anything actually, but most likely you'll use it for a double headed look or to add extra arms to your module. There's also a hole in the pack where you can plug in his tail pieces for example and then give him a few extra legs for a centipede look. You're just not limited to plugging legs into those pieces though, since as I said before it uses a universal joint system. You can plug in heads, arms, what have you, just anything. Here's a quick modular build using all the pieces except for this one which I left out. I said before that his weapon is gummy and because of that he cannot hold it properly, which is really a shame. I'm very surprised that we could get module up in Masters of the Universe Classics at the price we did, taking into consideration that the only shortcut taken on the figure, in my opinion, was the gummy weapons. And also that, as far as I know, the figure is almost a 100% new tooling. The only pieces that were reused, I think, are these arms. The sculpt is another top-notch work on the Four Horsemen's part. It stays true to the original design but updates it to the classics version in such an amazing way that it is, in my opinion, one of the top three figures released in the whole line. The paint applications are not all that massive though, but if we consider that this guy is practically completely red, it doesn't bother me at all. He still has some great shading all around, and while I would have gone with a darker green for the parts that use that color to make Modulac look creepier, the green paint apps are so minimal as to be an issue. With the ability to mix and match pieces and create any monstrous character you can think of, it makes Modulac one great toy which will give you a lot of hours of fun. At least that's what it has done for me as I have not settled on any preferred form I want to display him as. Modulac was released last month as the 2014 Club Eternia subscription's first quarter beast figure on MattyCollector.com and it sold out extremely quickly. If you can get it from the secondary market for a reasonable price, I urge you to do it. It is an amazing figure. I am glad Matty Collector got around to making this guy, as I have a vivid memory of when I got him as a kid, and it's a figure that will always have a top spot as one of my favorite figures ever made. So that was my look at Mattel's Masters of the Universe Classics Modulock. If you liked the review, don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more super awesome toy reviews.